Good afternoon, Pokey Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 12 video, bringing you Necrozma Dusk May. Now, you guys might recognize this team if you were watching the Salt Lake City Regional Championship, because this is Jeremy's team, also known as Jeremy Boyt, who did make it into top eight, was shown on stream uh, a couple times in stream, you know, their top eight matches. And it, in my opinion, it's definitely the most interesting team in top eight. I mean, a lot of the teams that we saw in top eight had their Zacian, had their Groudons, had their Ogres. This one has an Ogre, but it has a Necro Necrozma Duskmane on it, which for me is interesting. So I want to see if I can make it work today. Clearly, Jeremy knows how to play this team. Hopefully, I know how to play it half as good as he does. And uh, yeah, if you guys are excited to see the Necrozma Duskmane on the channel, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Let's get on. To this battle. Oh, Aerodactyl Dusclops, Incinesports, Lugia, Zacian Zapdos. That's a lot of flying types, my friend. Which is a little concerning. Also, they do have like a Trick Room user, but like the whole team is fast, so I don't know what their their plan is there. Interesting. Aleki is like amazing here. It's a pretty solid lead, too. We just lead it with Lucky. Um, maybe a Lucky Necrozma. I do want to bring Necrozma. It is Necrozma video. I think Ogre is really good here as well. I mean, honestly, if they're going to have... If they're going to try a Trick Room, I'm just going to let them or bring it myself. I do still want a Lucky in the back, and I think I want an Ogre, too. I feel like Ogre does well into this matchup. Super effective on two of their Pokemon. It's neutral on the rest, so... They have no resistances to Ogre on that team. So if I get myself in a good position, if I get myself with some speed control and play in Trick Room... I just sit there and Origin Pulse the whole game. Nacho Yeska. What a name. Aerodactyl Lugia. Aerodactyl gets Tailwind. Aerodactyl gets Wide Guard. Aerodactyl gets Taunt. Aerodactyl gets a lot of stupid things. Oh, there's actually Light Clay Mimikyu as well, so hopefully they don't try to taunt me. I want to set up a Sword Stance. I know that's... Is that greedy? Just like, what do they do to me? EQ, maybe? Man, I ain't worried about no EQ. Let's Swords Dance. We're gonna go big. We're gonna go hard. They do have Taunt. Oh, wrong one! <laughs> they played. They went for the, the Gambit. They went for the Gamble. Didn't happen. Oh, but they did stop my Swords Dance, though. So I guess they did stop something. They didn't let me get too greedy. But wrong. Trick Room's here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so now we just Dynamax. Steel Spike. And then just start firing attacks at this point. I'm not too concerned with Aerodactyl because I resist its stabs with Necrozma. I'm more concerned with Lugia. I mean, I also do resist Lugia stabs. But Lugia... I don't know. Lugia can start setting up with Calm Minds and stuff. I don't want to have to deal with that. They withdraw Lugia. Probably going to instant, I'm guessing. Clops. Oh, they want to try to go for the undo. Well, I will, I will try to stop you with whatever means necessary. They saw my light clay. But I mean, hey, it was a gamble. It worked out. I mean, they stopped me from swords dancing, which honestly probably would have been more detrimental if I was able to get Kroom up and swords dance. Imagine. I would have been taken over. This game would have been done years ago. Here's a shadow sneak into my good old friend Necrozma. Give me that weakness policy anyway. I'll get that sword stance one way or another. It will be mine. Let's see how much a steel spike does to the dust collapse. <laughs> Oh, sweet victory. <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> Guys, here's the thing. People complain about crits, right? 
People complain that, you know, oh, Pokemon sucks, you know, so much hacks. But when you get the hacks on your side... See, look, crit for crit. Fair. <laughs> Once you get the hacks on your side, it feels real good. It's like winning the lottery wouldn't feel as good unless you lost 300 times. That's probably false. <laughs> All right, let's see what their next uh, course of action is. I don't think anything on this team can stop the Necrozma. Or the only Pokemon it would have been was Ensign. Sans not, not even... They didn't bring anything to do with Necrozma. Yeah, this is going to be kind of... I don't want to say... I like speaking too early, right? Before the battle ends. But it's going to be very difficult for my opponent to... Make a comeback from this, I think. They never taunted my Mimikyu, right? I mean, the light screen does it really matter. I mean, I feel like Mimikyu is kind of on the field doing absolutely nothing, so. I might as well set a light screen? <laughs> Question mark. Adaptation protects anyway. We're just trying to get our defense boosts up. I mean, they always carry Sacred Sword, so. I can't go for Max Quake there, by the way, because they still do have the Lugia in the back. And I know that a uh, max steel spike should be more than enough to KO with that health for sure. All right, what's the Aerodactyl doing? At this point, they clearly have to Dynamax Lugia, and I'm pretty sure they're just trying to stall out my Dynamax. They go for the taunt. Okay, but we already got the light screen up, so all we can physically do now is attack with Shadow Sneak. I mean, I might as well break Aerodactyl Sash at that point. And then take the Zacian with me. They gotta give up their Zacian. They can't switch in their Lugia. That's their Dynamax. My opponent is definitely cornered, I think. Man, the Crosmo, when it works, it's fun. When it works, it's real fun. And when you... If they get the double protect. Hold on. My opponent's making some plays. I guess they don't have to go give up Zacian. Got a crit. I mean, that crit's meaningless. There's a bunch of hacks happening in this battle. That's like four crits in two turns, and then they get a double protect in two turns. Wild. But they're going to need a triple to stop me. All right. They, yeah, they're trying to focus down my Mimikyu. I still haven't shown them my um my trick room yet too on my necrosma so I'm, i think i'm gonna hold that secret uh i'm gonna steal spike there and i'm going to keep shadow sneaking aerodactyl i said steel spike sun steel strike they sound so similar too many s's too many strikes too many steals you know all right here's another shadow snake bada bing yo mimikyu making some big damage and then finally, the Sun Steel Strike into their Zacian. Should be enough to knock on Zacian. Two Protects couldn't save you. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't go for the triple at that point. <laughs> They're stalling my Trick Room out. I, I will give them that. They are definitely stalling my Trick Room out. They go for the Crunch on my Necrozma. That's fine. It's doing no damage after three Steel Spikes. Okay. Where are we now? Is my Taunt ending? Because, like, hear me out. If my taunt's ending, I'm down to double trick room. I don't think it's ending, though. Yeah, no. Should I try a trick room or should I not even bother? I think I'll just take out the Aerodactyl at that point. Since the Lugia's going to Dynamax anyway, let it Dynamax. Let it get big. Let it do what it wants. We'll just have it be all by itself, trying to take on three Pokemon at once. It's time for Big Scary Shiny Lugia. Now Lugia is one of those Pokemon that you guys don't see too often, but it's kind of for a reason. It's not that great. 
Its stats aren't awful. It's just not offensively good. Why did I shadow sneak it? I think I did that by accident. I'm trying to make this a challenge, I guess. And they win for Tailwind? Oh, no. They have a fire move. I might be in trouble. They have Quake. That's bad. That is, in fact, bad. Oh, no. Okay. Hold on. We could lose. Um, 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 um. They're raising special defense. Which is not what you want to see because I have an ogre in the back. Okay, well, at least I get rid of Aerodactyl. I think my taunt ends on my Mimikyu this turn, so I can try to set tail, uh, Trick Room up again. Yeah, okay, so here's what I do. What's my back? What do I have in the back? Uh... I brought... Oh, it doesn't show. I do have an Aleki in the back, so I actually don't want Trick Room. I have an Aleki and an Ogre. But they're in Tailwind. But I do want Trick Room. Should I sack off Ogre? Okay, I'm gonna double Trick Room. Because no matter what, they knock out one of my Pokemon this turn. Since they're in Tailwind and they're going for Airstreams, yikes. Okay, they knocked out my Mimi. Good. All right. Good, 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 good. Now I got the trick them up for free, and I don't have to sacrifice my stat boost that I have on my Necrozma. They think that I have Protect, but I just don't. Like I said, I never showed them that I do have Trick Room on this Necrozma. I have Swords Dance, Trick Room, and two moves. All right, now that we're in Trick Room, I can go into a Lucky. And get a nice uh, Wild Charge off. They have plus one in speed, plus in Tailwind. I think the Aleki should still also be in Trick Room. Time to go for Steel Strike. Time to go for a big old Wild Charge into Lugia. We'll see how much a Choice Banded Wild Charge can do. Steel Strike's already doing so much. Can this finish it off? Big damage. <laughs> okay, gonna get a win with the team to start the video off. Not bad. Um... Honestly, Necrozma felt so oppressive there. Uh, that could be just because the team that we were fighting up against was a little unorthodox, but I felt like that Necrozma was a little busted. Oh, well, speaking of Zacian Groudon teams, we have Zacian Groudon, Charizard, Gastrodon, Grimmsnarl, and Wim. We, we got our work cut out for us. The first thing that I do notice right away is that they have no Intimidate, which is really nice for our Necrozma at the very least. But immediately, I do also notice that we don't really have a safe way of dealing with their Gastrodon. I mean, at this point, I think we just have to save it for last. <laughs> and then see where we go from there. Also, that Charizard is a little bit threatening too. Tell you what, I think a Necrozma lead with an Aleki is pretty darn good. This is a physical Aleki with Choice Band, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll develop an opinion on it in a couple of minutes. Um, along with that, like, what do we do? I think Amoongus? Amoongus would be nice, but at the same time, there's no way Charizard is going to allow my Amoongus to live more than a turn. So I do think that the Ogre has to come here. And maybe an instant in the back. I could try to get some speed control going with Mimikyu as well. But I'm leaning towards instant. I feel like Assault Vest is going to come in very clutch for us, especially against this team, which is mostly phys uh, special Pokemon. I mean, granted, you have the Zacian, you have the Groudon, but, you know, the big one that I'm worried about is uh, the Zard. Also, forgot to mention that I will link all of Jeremy's stuff down below in the description, like always. Forgot to mention that in the intro. Whimsicott Groudon. Okay, so they're going for straight Tailwind right away. Um, leading double ground weakness isn't necessarily a great thing for us. Not gonna lie. I mean, we have Volt Switch, so we can just uh, get out of here real quick. 
I do think Dynamaxing is the key. Dynamaxing and Steel Spiking right away. And I'm pretty sure Lucky still outspeeds even after the Tailwind. So I'll just Volt Switch on the Whim Spot. I mean, I'm kind of okay with Groudon hitting my Necrozma. Necrozma has Prism Armor, which means that we just take special hits very well. You know, it's not the same two times effectiveness that it would have been otherwise. And that'll just give us weakness policy. And then even if we're able to, we're not going to outspeed, but you know, after the turn and the following turn, we should theoretically be okay because then we're going to get a steel spike up. It'll be a great time. I got to say, as much as I love Solgaleo, I think the Necrozma's design is cooler. I don't know why. Just something about a whole parasite alien attached to your body just kind of makes me happy on the inside 400 base hp oh that's whack oh come on what is that <laughs> who uses charm whim anymore <laughs> that's a little dirty not gonna lie my whole team is weak to ground i'm I, see my thought process is hey go into instant i think that's still the smartest play because it gets the intimidate off which is really nice and i can also Get rid of their whim without having to deal with the tailwind that they have by faking out next turn. There's a precipice blades. That's still too much damage to instant. Was that a? That's a strong. That's a strong ground on right there. What the heck? Well, it's gonna be nice that I'm raising defenses here. That still does half. That still is half. Keep in mind, I mean, that's neutral, right? Our weakness policy was unfortunately wasted. I think uh, I, I'm going to throw everything I have into this whim right now. I'm not wasting any time on this whim. I can't be sitting here and charming me the whole game. We don't like that. And this also gives us a lot of control of the speed. I wish I brought my Tailwind user, if that was the case. If I knew it was going to be that easy to get the speed going, but... It is what it is. We can't complain. What's interesting about this Bandit Aleki, the more that I'm looking at it, it does very well into opposite Kyogres. Because Kyogres tend to, be, tend to be like specially defensive, not really physically defensive. And it makes you wonder why more people don't go for mixed Aleki, because it's not like your defenses matter anyway. So you can kind of just run a naughty nature, or run like a hasty nature, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, they're gonna Dynamax. But because they didn't toy around with the speed, we're going to get a nice plus two in defense here. Oh, they do outspeed. I think we take it, though. No, we take it like a champion. The Krasma is stupid busted. There is a little bit of an issue here, and that issue is... Um, they're going to have a Dynamax for one turn longer. It's a second Steel Spike. Going to get the KO there on the Whimsy. The whimsical whimsicott. And now we're now plus two defense on our Necrozma. So even if they want to come in here with a Zacian, I think I'm fine still. There's a Zacian. Do I take the Zacian's life now or do I uh, worry about this Groudon? I think I'm going to Steel Spike for the final time here. Part of me wants to just hard swap. How about this? I'll Flare Blitz on J Zacian in case Zacian doesn't protect here, but I'm pretty sure Zacian's protecting this turn. No, there's Sacred Sorting. We still live that though, which is just that much more hilarious. They're actually gonna take away the sun? And go into my Insin. Insin's getting these defense boosts too, Tom Tom. Maybe predicting a switch into a flying type? I don't have flying types. I don't know. I don't know why you, you wouldn't just go for the Quake there. Unless they want to change the weather. Okay. I mean, my Flare Wood's going to be doing less damage to their Zacian now. If I knew Zacian was going to do that, I would have just attacked the Zacian spot. I didn't think... Yo, Insin damage though? Big Insin damage. Zacian, you thought you were a Pokemon. 
Hold on, what does Mr. Jeremy have on his instant set? 84 attack adamant. <laughs> That'll do it. That's what 84 attack looks like? Hilarious. Um, we got options. I think Aleki is our better option, though. I think Aleki is definitely our play. Um... What do I do though? Cause I I think I sun steel strike. I could trick room here. I don't think that helps me in the long run. I'm gonna sun steel strike into Groudon. And I'm honestly tempted to explode here. Because I think I can't KO Groudon with a knee speed from that health. Or can I? But I, I definitely think I, I can with an explosion. Only on Poke Sports, my friends. Only on Poke Sports will you see Explode Alecky. Zation protects. I expected that. My my primary goal here is to knock out the Groudon. I understand this does damage to my uh, side mod, but I'm plus three in defense. So my goal here is to knock out Groudon some way. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so happy. <laughs> we got the ground on, baby. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, unfortunately, we do still have the Zacian to worry about, but we do also have an Ogre. The Zacian is one hit away. Alright, let's also see what their last is. Oh no, hold on. Bad. Not great news. Not great news at all. I think I go for EQ. Mm, that's risky. I'm gonna have to fight this Gastrodon with my Ogre no matter what I do. And I can't protect here, so. And I'm pretty sure Necrozma's gonna go all in on my Ogre. Or on my Necrozma. There's Zacian's gonna go all, all in on my Necrozma. Alright, so I go for Zacian. And then I go for Zacian again. No matter what, I gotta knock out Zacian this turn. I'll deal with Gastrodon on my own later. Sacred Sword on my Necrozma will be enough to knock it out. I have no protect, so there was no way around that. How strong is this ogre? I have 204 HP, quiet nature. Oh, and I'm life orb. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be uh this is gonna be a doozy, huh? Oh, Gastro vs. Ogre matchup. We hate it here. <laughs> we definitely hate it here. What could I have done to avoid this? Yeah, Gastro protects. <laughs> Maybe exploding when the Gastro is on the field with the Aleki. Maybe holding my Dynamax too. I mean, I have no other option but to sit here and try to freeze them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. There's my mandatory turn. How much damage are they doing with Earth Power? I take like four more of those. I got to awake as soon as possible and freeze them. Oh, that's two turns of sleep. Okay. Game, please. No special D drops either. I take two more. Dang it! I take... I still take two more, though. But I, that means I gotta freeze as soon as possible. Game, please. Game, please. Game, please. I do wake. Ice beam. I got double froze like two episodes ago. Come on. Not today. I get one more chance, I think. One more chance, and then I die to Life Orb, though. So that's GG. <laughs> one more chance, but I die to Life Orb. Oh, well. I gave it my best shot. But looks like we're going to take an L in today's episode. Against Torbjorn. I feel like we've gone against someone named Torbjorn before. But it could be the same person. could be a different person, because I know that's like an Overwatch character, right?
Do people pl still play that game? All right, Ice Beam. Let's see the freeze. The consolation freeze, not even. Uh, it was a fun battle though. I feel like had they not have Gastrodon or had I just had like, like I don't know, Wood Hammer on Mimikyu, I would've been fine. GG's. Ugh, I hate facing teams like this. For obvious reasons, I mean, do I really have to explain it? It's not fun <laughs> facing a uh, a Gigas Calyrexation team. They have like three restricteds, it feels like most of the time. I can't even leave with instant. I think I gotta bring Amongus right away. I wanna do Amoongus Necrozma here. I'll set Trickrim up, bring the Ogre in the back. And then in the late game, I feel like instant can help us a lot. Which means we're leaving the Aleki behind, but I think if we are gonna plan to play in Trick Room, then we shouldn't theoretically bring Aleki, because that would just be last all the time. Unless they set a Tailwind up, in which case they don't actually have a Tailwind that could be used there. You know what I encountered the other day on the ladder that was absolutely stupid and disgusting? Um, it was Safety Goggles Calyrex Shadow. Just so when Amoongus redirects with Rage Powder, it ignores the Rage Powder and can still Will-O-Wisp your side mon. You see the most ridiculous thing sometimes, but uh, hey, it worked. I can't complain because they got me. They Will-O-Wisp, whatever. I don't even remember what it was. It's just my mind was already baffled. And then on top of that, that same Calyrex set had Ally Switch. Speaking of Calyrex, hello Calyrex. Um, well, this is obviously a little bit of a problem, right? Because Calyrex hurts, you know? It does damage, if you will. And I don't have the prism armor here because of Weezing's natural nonsense. Neutralizing nonsense. So what we're going to do here is Spore. See, I'm tempted to Dynamax Necrozma. Oh, I'm so tempted. Insin is the better swap, though. So let's just do Insin. I just feel like I'm going to have very little pressure on the field. But if everything's asleep, I could just sit here and snarl all day. So I'm not too concerned. I never go for Weezing turn one because they always protect, by the way. In case you guys are new to VGC. You don't know what Weezing does too much. Actually, this one might not protect. They're Dynamaxing. Which means I could have theoretically Rage Powdered and Trick Roomed. I don't know. That's weird, Tom. Do they predict the instant switch and go for the Quake? Because... I mean, honestly, that would suck. They go for the Mind Storm, so that's definitely on Amoongus. We're Focus Sash, though. Also, the Weezing did not protect there. So that's already surprising. Ooh, this is not the way I planned for this turn to, to happen. Oh, by Heat Wave. Wow, Heat Wave Weezing. Well, goodbye, Amoongus. Well, that's not great news. Tell you what, I think we're Dynamaxing the Crossma here. Thankfully, the Calyrex didn't pick up the kill. We're Dynamaxing Max Guarding, and we're going to have to Snarl twice. Or at least once. Oh, never mind. I wouldn't get as one anyway because the Weezing's on the field. Fair. Fair enough. Withdraws wheezing. Which means I do get my prism armor back, which is kind of convenient. Into Ursh. Is it dark? Oh my goodness. They have everything to counter into Crossma, dude. Get me out of here. 
What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I mean, I should have kind of expected that. Yeah, th th this is going to be kind of rough. I can only hope that Snarl, that it, you know, mitigates the damage a significant amount. They do just go for the Phantasm, okay. Fine. And we do connect with Snarl. Gorgeous. Lower that special attack a little bit. Who am I more afraid of? Honestly, Urshi. Like, I'm low-key... Yeah, I'm gonna quake that Urshi. And I'm going to... Should I quake it? I don't think quake is gonna be enough, like, real talk. Like, I think if I'm gonna go for it, I have to go for the stab move. And then, yeah, we keep snarling here. Can Necrozma take both of these? This is negative one. They win for Ensign? I disagree with that, my friend. Oh, because they lower my defense that way. Oh, they are smart. They could have just done that, but onto Necrozma because now I live. I don't care. Fine by me. Fine by me. If they would have doubled in, I would have died. 120%. I guarantee you that right now, if you doubled into me, I would have died. I don't even pretend like I deserve to live there. I don't. Here's another Snarl. Good damage. Single targeted Snarl. That's what I like to see. Now negative two. Great news for us. They also can't Dynamax a Regigigas this game, which is why I'm so baffled they even went into Calyrex to begin with. In comes the Zacian. At the very least, they're still a baby, and we are still Dynamax. Um, I'm actually going to Quake that Zacian spot. And then I think... Um See, do we flare blitz station? Do we just keep snarling? I think we should flare blitz just in case. Because they're negative to on Calyrex. They might actually switch. Yeah, okay, they do. All right, good. Whew, okay, well, did they decide to attack with Zacian or are they just going to protect here is the question. They just protect. Okay, fine. Hey, this is still big damage. It's going to be on to the Zacian, thankfully. Oh, really big damage. Wow. We know that their Weezing has... What's it called? Heat Wave. I'm tempted to EQ, but I can't because I'm next to my instant. So I'm just going to... Ugh, that's a little bit unfortunate. I guess I just sun steel strike again. I'm gonna throw everything I have into this spot no matter what. Because I'm not concerned about this wheezing. If wheezing's by itself, it can't win the game. Even though my ogre would love setting rain up whenever it comes in, but hey. They do go for the sacred sword into the ensign. I think that's a mistake though. They're just hoping the heat wave single targeted can knock out my uh, my uh necrozma. But I think I take the Zacian with me here. Yeah, Zacian's mine. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, can we beat the Calyrex, though? They go for the Willow. Okay, so I'm turning into a Trick Room bot this next turn is what that means. I mean, honestly, that, that Willow... I'm, I'm not going to live in Astral Barrage. Good news is they won't have Psychic Terrain if they do have Expanding Force, which they could. What do I do in this situation? I gotta double attack no matter what, right? Because if I don't double attack, then they get max damage output on this Astral Barrage. Which I worked so hard to lower in Special Attack, but it's now reverted.
Yeah, I'm gonna fire everything I have into Calyrex. Like, what, what do I have to lose? Cali Protect. I could have Trick Roomed, man. While I'm throwing. They're giving me so many opportunities. I wonder why they even did that. Ooh, look at that. Wheezing damage, though. Life Orb. What is Weezing doing? Is it going to try to double burn? That's going to add up with my life orb, not going to lie. Man, if only I trick roomed. If only. Just going to keep heat waving. All right, well, I'm not concerned about heat wave. It will knock out my necrosma this turn, which means my ogre now has to live a single targeted astral barrage. And then double hit with the origin pulse. Uh... Wish me luck! I have a lot of HP investment on this ogre. I believe there's some defense investment. There's not any special defense investment. But, it's an ogre, right? Ogre has naturally tanky special defense. There's the Astral Barrage. Live it, live it, live it, live it, live it. That's living. Connect, baby. Connect! Yes! Get out of my face. <laughs> We're going to take another win today. Oh, that felt... I don't know why that battle was so satisfying. But to me, it was really satisfying. Did I KO all their Pokemon yet, right? I don't actually remember what the other Pokemon even were. They had a Zacian. We defeated them. Okay, cool. Oh, that was stressful. Let's go ahead and get you guys that rental code. And here you have the rental code for the Necrozma team that got top eight in the Salt Lake City International, International, no, Regional Championships. If you guys are going to any regional championships, let me know down below in the comment section. Me and Mike will both be attending to caucus. I'm going to be attending the Joe UX9, which is an regional champion um, tournament April 9th as well in New York City. And I'm thinking about Indianapolis. I'm not too I'm not too sure though, because I gotta see how my schedule lines up. But anyway, here's the rent code. Make sure to grab it. Um Jeremy does have a team report on this team on Victory Road. So I'll make sure to link that down below in the description as well. If you're watching this, make sure to go give that a read. Show him as much support as you possibly can for making it that far with this team. You know, it's not a team that you see every single day. So I, I really do encourage the creativity and I love the fact that this team was able to do very well in the tournament. Anyway, I'm Kevin Spoke Sports. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't liked the video again, consider doing so. And have a great night. Peace out. Bye-bye.